Hi everybody, it's me Anna. Um, it's been a while since I have posted a video, but I have come out of hiding um, because there is a challenge that I want to participate in and I just wanted to share a video about it. Um, first off, I am sorry for the shaky video. I'm just um, using my iPhone today. Um, Romany's Realm and Miss Vicky B and Carrie Harling are doing a challenge, um, for July, a planner challenge, um, that's one notebook, one pen for one month. Now, considering what I have been doing, this is, uh, significantly, uh, less complicated, shall we say. Um... This is my regular size um, faux dory that I made myself. Here's my um, daily driver right now, my Aqua Malden personal size. And then I also have my A5 Ochre Malden. I also have this uh, Malden in Ochre as well, but I'm really digging the cheerful aqua color but I also have this size and I kind of go back and forth between the personal and the a5 and I spend a lot of time and angst between what size should I carry um, way too much time and mental energy trying to figure out what stupid planner to use it's like the point is just to plan it and to, to get things done so I'm giving this a shot this this month because I have been thinking about this for the past few months um, could I use just this and would it work for me? Um, I have four kids. I work full time. I'm a single mom. So, uh, I'm, I'm pretty busy and, um, I don't, I, I think my whole life can fit into, you know, my, my basic planner life can fit into this. So let me show you, um, real quick how I set it up. Um, this is just a little, um, uh, Midori sticky pocket that you can get. I got mine from Amazon and it came in a set of three different um, pockets. And this I usually keep in my file effects, which is why it has um, holes punched in it. It says I can't do this, but I'm doing it anyway. Um, that's kind of been my mantra this year. It's been a tough year, but tough, but good. Okay. So these are little notebooks, um, little moleskin notebooks you can see that I, I got from uh, Barnes and Noble. They come in three packs, um, shrink wrap together. It's like, I don't know, eight bucks, 10 bucks, something like that. And then I just used my Xyron to, um, put some sticky scrapbook paper, um, to the front of it. So this is just some notes that I had already had in here. Um, so I just drew myself out a month um, all the highlighted uh, days are are the days I work, and then you know we're going to Six Flags. I got some other things going on. So um, then I have a couple of pages of um, charts. I usually use DIY fishes inserts, and I really like having a monthly chart. Um, so I did a couple of those because this book is small, and I couldn't get everything onto one chart. So I made one for personal and one for, for my finances. Um, then I have my monthly goals here, then, uh, weekly goals. And then I will start here with my daily, uh, bullet journal. And that's kind of all that's in that book. Um, there's just some sticky notes from target right here. This is a hideously ugly six pocket folder. I made from pocket full of vintage tutorial from YouTube. Now with my, um, one pen, um, I'm using this and I don't know why this will not focus. There we go. That's a little better. Uh, Coletto high tech C. This is a 0.4. I like it cause it's a fine point and it's in Brown. I'm not, not crazy about black right now. So I will be writing it in Brown. And then, um, if I need to color code anything, I have uh, market dots here. Now what I did with these market dots is I took off all of the little stuff that surrounds the market dots, all the other sticky part and threw that away. And then I put this one upside down so they wouldn't accidentally get scraped off. But those little boogers can be hard to get off of the, 
off of the plastic. So I just um, removed all of that from the beginning and then I cut the sheet in half and I just put half of it in here and then I have the half in uh, another file effects. So now they're, they're pretty secure because there aren't any sticking out because I would have some that would get, uh, that would flake off, you know, if, if I would stick them down in here. Um, just have some random paper clips here. Um, in my second notebook, this is just going to be for journaling and then and projects. Um, then this is the other half of my six pocket. And then um, these are just mat some masking stickers. And this is just a, a project life card. This with the phone with the phone on it is my contacts and I won't show you that but it's the same thing um, with the graph paper which is my all-time favorite and then um, just grab a paper on the front and a sticker for the phone so that's pretty much my setup now I bought some little sticky notes which is all of this is little flags and stickies little cute little sticky notes that I bought from a, an Etsy store in Australia and I just got them last week and I'm so excited because I can use these in my teeny tiny faux dory look at those I love birds those are too too cute and these little fruits fruit slices super cute little running men yeah yeah I have these oh my goodness so cute so I, I like to, instead of highlighting a lot, I like to use um, these little flags to uh, mark things that I need to, to make sure that I am aware of. So I have all kinds. I have just flags upon flags, a lot from, you know, the dollar bin at Target. These from um, Hobby Lobby. And these from Hobby Lobby and then some I mean I just buy some every now and again from uh, from Etsy stores and whatnot these are cute and little talk bubbles can't go wrong with those and little tiny thought bubbles and see I mean they're not very big you can see my thumb but you know compared to this it's gonna take up quite a bit of room so I'm happy to have some of these little teeny uh, sticky notes and also these cute little um oh what is she called michelle girl i got those from etsy once upon a time too and that was one big sheet but i cut them in half so they didn't take up so much room so anyway i just have collected a ton of these over time little and a lot of them i cut up into smaller pieces so that i could get them in here and most of these were, you know, a dollar to two dollars a piece. Um, these cute little ones. I'm gonna talk some London, and then I also have little Matryoshka dolls. I think that's how you say it. And when I'm feeling like I should, I wish I was in Paris, then I can use these. So anyway, some little band aids. I've had those for a long time and I never use them. I don't know why. Cuteness. So much cute. There's some more romantic shabby chic. So these are kind of a variety of everything. So anyway, I'll stop now. I'm really excited about this challenge. I'm excited to, to uh, just do something minimal. For a change instead of seeing how much I can do I'm gonna see um, if minimal will work for me um this is a good I already had this charm on here um, so but I think it's pretty apropos for what we're talking about this month um, I really need to simplify I'm getting things way too complicated and you can see I carry this in my purse all the time because it's fantastically beat up so anyway um Check the links out below for uh, Romany and Carrie 
and Miss Vicky B. And I hope you'll join in our challenge. See if uh, you can minimalize it this month. Oh, I'm also, also going to show you one more thing. I picked these up. They're like two for a buck at Staples. And so when I go through the checkout to getting other stuff, I'll just pick up a couple of these. Um, because they're like 50 cents a book. And these are embossed or, you know, foil stamped. And they're all different. They all say something different. They're super cute. And so when uh, these run out, I'll be able to put these in here. They're a little shorter than the other book, but that doesn't bother me. Because then I'll have more room to put um, tabs and whatnot if I needed to. Because I am I really like top tabs. So anyway, there's my three little notebooks in here. And my one notebook with my one pen and I am going to try to give you guys an update every week and let you uh, give me an update to see how it's going and uh, thanks for watching this video and we'll talk to you soon. Bye.